Hi, this is Trevor Conkergood. Welcome to this week's RNK Software Club's video for the week. And our topic for this week is about the font play tool. And this is one of my favorite ways to start a new tech segment. And so if you're ready to get started, let's go ahead and bring my Floriani workspace nice and big. And the tool that we're talking about is up here in the purple tool group. It's an F that says font play. And this is a unique way to start a new embroidery you know, text element. Um, when I go ahead and click on it, a wizard opens up. And the wizard that opens up has all of your fonts listed on the left-hand side. You can just click on a font to see what it looks like. It'll um, display the sentence, the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog, which, if you don't know, is a sentence that includes all of the different letters of the alphabet. Um, but if you wanted to see, you know, specifically the letters of the alphabet, notice up at the top that I can change it from the default, you know, sentence to be the letters. And now it's going to show me the font all curled up, but show it to me using uh, just the alphabet ABC. It shows me the uppercase, the lowercase, and the numbers. Um, you can turn on a 3D in here, so make it look a little bit more realistic. Um, that's like an on off check mark. Uh, if you don't like the color, you can, of course, change it to be any color that you would like um, to see them displayed in. And um, finally, you've got the uh, ability to do custom text. So if I click custom text, then I get to type in, you know, what will it be and, you know, type in my name or whatever text you want. And so now you have exactly the text that you intend to embroider. And you can just come um, into your properties or, or to the font list on the left hand side here and click on the different fonts to see what would it look like if you chose that font. And so basically it's uh, a nice way to audition different fonts, see what they look like. Um, notice up here that um, you have the ability to filter the fonts. So right now it's all fonts, but I could say, just show me my script fonts and then it would show me, you know, a smaller list. Um, that said, you um, this is the embroidery fonts, but we also have the ability to to use this tool to look at our computer fonts, the true type fonts. So those ones don't come with stitches, but they can be um, you know, used for embroidery. And so um, if you wanted to change this to true type font, then um, you're kind of looking at the words uh, as they are in your you know, computer generated fonts. Um, if you find uh, the perfect you know, match kind of thing, then you say import. So if I import it and it's artwork, then it will come in as actual artwork. Whereas if I use the tool um, to do, for example, the default sentence in the Andrew font and click import, then uh, that will come in as stitches. And so notice that each time I use the tool, it creates a new uh, segment for me over here and they're both text segments. So because they're text segments, I know that I have the ability to use things like the edit text tools where you know you would be able to sort of adjust the letter spacing between the letters. Um, so all that said, uh, the first one that I created from the true type font doesn't actually have any stitching in it. This becomes more like vector artwork. Of course, we could easily assign stitches to this, um, but currently it's a text segment. And if you wanted to be able to manipulate, you know, each letter individually, then what you could do is use the right click and just break it up, you know, break up the text. And now you're essentially left with a T and an R and an E. And so really, the, when you click on and when you think of the font play tool, the real benefit here is being able to visually see uh, what will it look like if I use, you know, my text in a specific font or show me all of the letters, you know. So I, once again, you just click on custom and you can type in any text that you want and click OK, and it will show you, you know, what would it look like? And it becomes very easy to audition the different letter styles that are available in the program. And so we hope you enjoyed this week's RNK Software Club's video for the week about the font play tool. Until next week, have a great day and thanks for watching.